<laughs> That's a good 90s jam to start off your Monday morning, isn't it? SWV, right? <laughs> yeah, Sisters with so. voices. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Well, so glad you're with us here on this Monday. We've got a lot going on here, and, and we're starting with some breaking news here. We sure do. Yeah, San Diego Unified Superintendent Cindy Martin. You know that name here in town. She will now be nominated to a post in the incoming Biden administration. She's up for consideration for Deputy Secretary in the Federal Department of Education. Martin got her master's degree in curriculum and instruction from UC San Diego. She served as a teacher and administrator for more than 25 years, including six years as a principal at Central Elementary in City Heights. Martin also became a school-wide literacy specialist in the Poway Unified School District. She became San Diego Unified Superintendent in 2013. Martin says, quote, she believes that there are no excuses when it comes to providing children with the very best conditions that will enable them to become confident, successful learners who can achieve their dreams. So a uh, big congratulations to her on her nomination. Meantime, it is setting up to be a very busy week in Washington. President-elect Joe Biden will take office on Wednesday, and the nation's capital is locked down with thousands of National Guardsmen in place. Meanwhile, inside Capitol Hill, lawmakers are preparing for the impeachment trial of President Trump. Deborah Alperon joining us live in Washington right now with more on this startling news and video of the riots, this new video. Good morning. Good morning, Eric and Netta. And this new video, it shows that several of the rioters actually say in it that they are here at the Capitol because of President Trump. And no doubt you'll probably hear about that a lot in the impeachment trial. Yeah! Newly released video by The New Yorker shows some of the most detailed actions of the rioters who stormed the Capitol. We are listening to Trump. The pro-Trump mob rummaged through desks of U.S. senators, believing some Republican lawmakers would approve. Well, Cruz, I think Cruz would want us to do this, so yeah, absolutely. I think we're good. The nation's capital has since turned into an armed fortress ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. Sometimes the enemies are a little closer to home. Concerned about a potential inside attack, the FBI is vetting all 25,000 National Guard troops now stationed in Washington. Protect property and uh, in Major General Kendall Penn told the Arkansas National Guard to stay focused on their mission. This isn't about who won or who lost the election. This is about our, us fulfilling our oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Congress is investigating the intelligence and security failures leading up to the Capitol assault. The Senate is also preparing for the impeachment trial of President Trump. Members really have to follow their own conscience. President Trump's allies say it's time to turn the page with him leaving office. Pursuing impeachment after he leaves the office office will further divide the country. Democrats disagree. It is constitutionally dangerous not to proceed. Sources close to President Trump tell CBS News he is preparing to issue a final round of pardons this week. And that final round could be 100 people or more. We could find out about some today and we'll likely find out about the bulk of them on tomorrow. It's going to be a busy week, Eric and Netta. Yeah, a lot happening where you are, that's for sure. All right, thanks, Deborah, for the updates. Appreciate it. And we are learning more about what President-elect Joe Biden plans to do on his first day in office. He plans to end restrictions on immigration to the U.S. from some Muslim-majority countries. Biden will make masks mandatory on federal property and during interstate travel. He will also provide a path to citizenship for millions of immigrants in the U.S., as well as rejoin the Paris Climate Accord. And today, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris resigns from her Senate seat two days before she and President-elect Joe Biden are inaugurated. This clears the way for Governor Gavin Newsom to then appoint Democrat Alex Padilla to serve the final two years of Harris's term. Padilla will make history as the first Latino senator from California. The state is calling on vaccination clinics to pause the use of hundreds of thousands of coronavirus vaccines because a certain batch is linked to cases of allergic reactions. And this all comes as local health systems are trying to balance supply and demand. News 8's Chris Groh joining us live from Harbor Island this morning with a lot of these new developments. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Eric and Netta. And look, a lot of people at home might be hearing that headline that you just read there, Eric. A lot of vaccines, more than 300,000 now put on uh, doses, I should say, now put on pause because of allergic reactions. And they may think of what happened at the Petco Park super site. Now, there's no word yet on that being 
the link to this uh, this announcement here that these doses have been paused. But at the same time, the state did say that uh, there was a number of people in their announcement. They said fewer than 10 individuals required medical attention over the span of 24 hours. So again, we don't know if the two are linked, uh, but it certainly is uh, in close proximity there in time to when that occurred over there at the site. Now, here are some numbers important to the story. The expected rate of an anaphylaxis reaction is one in 100,000 for the Moderna vaccine. Remember, this is a lot of the Moderna vaccine or batch of the Moderna vaccine that is being put on pause. More than 330,000 doses from this lot have been distributed to about 287 health care providers. So what's going to happen? Uh, they are going to go ahead and investigate to see exactly why they had uh, this allergic reaction in a number of cases. That'll be the Moderna uh, company itself, the CDC and FDA that will be investigating. Now, the question is, how is this going to impact uh, the vaccination effort? Well, it's hard to tell right now, but there's already been a huge problem in the rollout of vaccines at every level, from supply to training people to administering it. According to the CDC nationwide, 31 million doses have been delivered, but only 12 million shots have been administered. Then even worse than that, only 1.6 people, uh, 1.6 million people have received their booster shots. Another issue we're seeing across the country in San Diego, no stranger to it as well. Those long lines. In fact, take a look at this. This is the scene that we saw recently at that super site for vaccinations at San Diego's Petco Park. That lot out there, the tailgate lot, you can see the line stretching and extending extending through downtown as the county tries to vaccinate 5,000 health care workers or tier 1A uh, members there a day. Now this vaccine super site is still open. Again, they are using a different batch of vaccines uh, despite those allergic reactions that we saw or it should say in lieu of those allergic reactions that we saw happen. Uh, they are still open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, and if you want more information about getting a, uh, an appointment there, if you're a healthcare worker, if you're someone in Tier 1A uh, and want to make sure that you get vaccinated, go to CBS8.com and click on the Help button. Eric and Netta. And to keep up with the latest developments on the COVID vaccine rollout, just text the word vaccine to 858-571-8888. We'll text back a link to all of our vaccine stories on our website. You know, this week marks one year since the first coronavirus case in the U.S. Nearly 24 million infections have been recorded now. The death toll now on the brink of 400,000. That is worse than the world. Los Angeles just became the first county in the nation to hit 1 million cases. The situation is so bad there, air quality regulations were just lifted to allow for more cremations. L.A. is also now facing a new, more contagious strain of the virus. Officials say it's different than the U.K. variant. They are working with the CDC and other research groups to learn more about this variant, including how it spreads. Meanwhile, in San Diego County, officials are reporting 1,890 new COVID cases. That's about 8% 8 of uh, nearly 25,000 tests given. Hospitalizations around the county are just under 1,800. A little more than 400 of those patients are in the ICU right now. 88% of all ICU beds are currently in use. And we have 38 new deaths to tell you about, bringing that total now in our county to 2,103. Today, the nation remembers the life and legacy of civil rights icon Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And this year, Americans are encouraged to honor him with a day of community service. Today's Together We Serve campaign encourages everyone to volunteer to help their communities with issues ranging from homelessness to hunger. Of course, all have been made worse by this pandemic. So I hope you get a chance to do something like that to uh, make our community a better place here on this MLK Day. And mm -hmm. if you have the day off to celebrate MLK and everything he stood for, um, it's going to be pretty nice, right? But the word of rain may be on the way at some point. Yes, so we're watching a system that could bring us some rain tomorrow, possibly into Wednesday. And then this next coming weekend, it's going to be way different than the weekend we just experienced. But for today, uh, yeah, sunshine and 70s. Look how gorgeous this is as you look out uh, towards that first ray of light here as we wait for the sun to come on up. I mean,
mean, just beautiful, clear skies all across San Diego County this morning. Here is another view for you looking out east. Now we are cooling down today, but cooling compared to this weekend is sunny in 70s. So yeah, the weekend we were in the 80s, even 90s in some spots, and today it's going to feel pretty comfortable. Not too hot, not too cold. Santa Ana winds are going to increase tonight and tomorrow, and then we're also watching about uh, temperatures dropping even more for tomorrow with that chance of rain. It's very minimal chance, but there is a chance. 36 right now in Ramona, 46 Poway, 50 degrees downtown, 52 in Chula Vista. That 24 hour temperature change across San Diego County. We are cooler anywhere from 2 to 11 degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday. Your afternoon also in the 70s, mainly downtown 71. Yesterday you got up to 82. Ramona got up to 84 yesterday. Today, 77 degrees.